all you need is kill, more like all you need is this manga. Hey guys, welcome again to another video and thank you again for tuning in. In this video, naturally, as I just said, we're going to be checking out All You Need Is Kill. Now for those of you that are perceptive right off the bat, you can tell that the artwork strangely resembles the artwork from Death Note. Now this is no surprise, but the guy who did the artwork for Death Note actually did the artwork for this as well, and that man's name is Takashi Obata. Now I want to clear up a slight misconception that I've seen across some different sources, including the back of this manga volume. For some reason it states that the Death Note creator Takashi Obata I repeat, the Death Note creator Takashi Obata, you guys can see this right here. I mean, I'm sure Obata played a significant role when it came to Death Note and the story of Death Note, but to say that he's a creator? Come on guys, don't do this clickbait stuff, please. Anyway guys, naturally once I saw that, I was like, holy sh**, I have to check this manga out, it's the original creator of Death Note, right? How could I go wrong? <clears throat> Platinum End. Now there's one thing I gotta point out about this edition that I really love. Now. So you have the front cover. Now this is actually volume number one's cover. On the back side, you got volume number two cover artwork, whatever you want to say. But like I said, no page or space is wasted here. You have the artwork here, so you're not really missing out if you get the individual volumes or buy this, which I honestly, I recommend buying this because this has colored pages too, man. Like you can't go wrong with colored pages, guys. Like, come on. But before we begin, I just want to do a quick size comparison so you guys can see how this beautiful, hefty, beefy volume, how how nice it looks and you can truly appreciate the size of this great omnibus edition. Alright, I need to stop, but there you go. Death Note, how fitting, right? So there you go, guys. You can get a quick preview of that. But anyway, guys, let's get to the flip through of this awesome volume. Check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed the preview. Um, as you can see, the manga looks absolutely beautiful. The color pages and stuff, like how can you go wrong? I just wanted to touch up on the story. It's actually very interesting. Um, it's just a small summary I'm just gonna give so you guys have a basic idea of what you're getting into. Um, the story involves time travel and it involves a soldier who's in the army. Now this soldier was actually sent on a suicide mission to battle against some aliens or different life forms from another universe. When he goes on this mission, that's where he finds out that he's stuck in some kind of time loop where he keeps repeating the same events over and over again and he needs to do things differently in order to get out of it. So it's actually a very interesting concept. I'm sure it's not the first time it's been done, but the execution is very well done, I can say that. But yeah, honestly, speaking of time loops and going back in time, I, I kind of wish I could just experience this manga again for the first time. In fact, just finishing it kind of has me distressed. I really want to read it again and just honestly if I could just clear my memory and just just read it again. You know, you know what I mean guys? I just want to... Oh man, what a terrible dream. Wait a minute, is that the manga I was supposed to review? Oh yeah, it is. All you need is kill. Maybe I should finish reading it first. A few moments later. I definitely don't remember the manga being this good. I honestly can't even stop reading right now. I just want to get to the end and see what happens. Much, much later. I, I simply can't accept the fact that I've finished the manga. I, the story was so good. I, I want, I wish there was a third volume. There, there has to be more, right? 
there's no way this can be the end. If that's the case, then I'd rather just read it again and repeat the loop once more. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's 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 repeat the loop one more time, shall we? Oh shit. Oh man. Oh. Oh shit, I'm still recording. Okay. Uh, let's just talk about the pricing and let me just collect myself. So I paid about, I believe it was 20-ish dollars and surprisingly it has kept the same price. So it's still $20 right now. So if you guys want to check that out, it's a really good deal, honestly. Like look at, look at the amount of content you guys are getting. Like how can you skip out on this? Come on, it's 20 bucks. Come on, like. That's it for me guys for this video. Um, if you guys enjoyed it, drop a like comment if you have any suggestions if you guys want me to cover any manga or anything i'll be more than happy to check it out and see what i can do but yeah peace out guys stay safe and we will see you on the next video be sure to tune in anyway i'm just gonna do a quick time loop so i can read this manga again